Hi, Jason Phillips from AutoAppraise, AutoAppraise.com. It is May 2nd, 2012. We're getting ready to uh, test drive 1970 Chevelle. Car set up with a 454 big block, turbo 400 trans, 12 volt rear. It's got a very nice uh, modified engine bay. Interior fenders, core support, everything was painted in uh, gloss black as opposed to the traditional satin appearance. Looks very nice. Car's got power steering, power brakes, Adelbrock intake, Moroso valve covers, got a big dual feed carb under there, upgraded MSD electronic distributor. Brake booster master cylinder been restored. Brake lines are all new. Uh, power steering gear. Uh, box lines, everything's been really uh, nicely detailed in this car. When you look at the suspension underneath, there's a few wires that could be uh, gathered there together, but all those bushings show in a nice fashion. Give you a quick peek of the underbody. Appears to be a full frame off restoration. We're doing an inspection on this car for a client. Got 310 guys nationwide, by the way, doing inspections on classic cars like this helping you see what you're going to get before you get it instead of after. So consider using us anywhere in the country to evaluate and look over a car. We don't always do videos everywhere, so ask. We do them here in Michigan all the time, both myself and my inspector Jeff. All that suspension has been rebuilt, ball joints, tie rod end sleeves, center link. It's got new, uh, uh, new bushings on the uh, stabilizer bars, both front and rear. Engine detail is uh, nice. You can see there's no overspray on the rubber mounts and wires. And you know that motor was out of there. It was rebuilt and put in there as opposed to just being dialed up while in the car, which often happens on these little cars. We're getting ready to take it out for a test drive. All the uh, doors open and close, trunk and hood both open, close and latch like they should. Car's got hood pins. Got uh, T3, combination of T3 headlights and then uh, regular halogens. These uh, stripes have been cleared over nicely. You can barely feel an edge there. This paint is uh, certainly worth bragging about. You can see that uh, you can read the reflection. The paint looks just like this up high, down low, and really all over the car. I took the liberty of placing a business card magnet. I've done that about 200 times around the car. We ran a digital paint gauge around it to assess the quality and how thick the paint is. And we're getting readings. That's 10.0, 8.0, and the readings run anywhere from 5 to 25 all around the car. Anything under 30 is acceptable. 3.5 mils on this gauge is equal to the thickness of a dollar bill. I left the trunk open. Somebody did a nice job of putting this back together. I don't detect a pan change. I don't detect any quarter panel overlaps up there. If the quarters were changed, which they were likely done, they did them in the full quarter fashion all the way through. This pan doesn't show any evidence of being changed, so it might have been changed in a hole, covered nicely. Looks good from underneath as well. Aftermarket mat. There's a matching rim and uh, trim ring wheel paint. That uh, Goodyear tire is not an exact match, obviously, to these BF Goodrich radials. Wheels have all been restored. Trunks in uh, very good shape. Gas tank's been restored. Rear end's a 12 bolt. Looks like I said, we're getting ready to drive it. Got the chrome oval ports and a nice mandrel bent 3 inch exhaust system. Floors were painted in a non traditional gloss black. Body bushings look great. We've got over 250 still photos of this car. All the fuel lines, brake lines, clips, etc. They were changed. Interior's been restored. Package tray's been done. Headliners new. Those uh, C pillar covers could stand to be tightened up and uh, re glued down, but it's a very, very straight car. All the lines look really good. This line on the door hangs out ever so slightly, like literally a sixteenth. 
and that could certainly be bumped in a little bit. But the car itself has really got a nice finish, nice fitment. These doors close with a with a basically two finger. Let me show you in my hand actually. Well, now of course it wouldn't show. But it's a nice two finger effort. Let's fire it up, and take it for a ride. They fired it up cold uh, out of the showroom and backed it out. It's run only for about two or three minutes in the last three and a half hours. Turn the key forward and show that the temperature gauge is still down below 60 degrees and the oil pressure is off. So.
coming up yet. I'm going to have to check and see if there's a uh, wire off the sending unit. I'll report that to the dealer. Got a very nicely redone interior. Car feels really good going over these little car strips that you might be able to see in the road. You can tell the suspension is all very, very tight, very fresh. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. We're wrapping up a test drive on a 1970 Chevrolet Malibu. Set up as an SS454. Reported as LS6 specifications on the motor. on our